hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be teaching you guys what is crypto wallet and the difference between a custodian and a non-custodian wallet so you are going to learn how uh crypto wallets work and different types of of, of wallet and also the categories of wallet most especially we are just getting started in blockchain technology uh, in terms of crypto wallets, uh, cryptocurrency, in terms of NFTs and crypto assets and several others. So I've prepared um, a presentation file. I will share the, the link in the description of the video. So uh, let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I publish new video. So what is crypto wallet? Uh, we'll be discussing because we're teaching you the custodian and not custodian wallet. What are hardware wallets and software wallets? So now, uh, we are talking about crypto wallet. Crypto wallet, uh, they are simply applications that enable us to interact with the blockchains and store our crypto assets. So we have different type of crypto assets. It can be crypto coins. It can be NFTs and several others so just just a uh, picture a, a crypto wallet as your normal bank account which you open with your bank that enables you to store uh, your money now there are different uh, four uh, types of wallet we have a desktop wallet we have mobile wallet we have web wallet and we have hardware wallet now I'm talking about desktop wallet Desktop wallets are wallets that are installed on desktop uh, computer like Linux or Linux or your Mac laptop or your uh, Windows desktop as well. So, and there are examples of desktop wallets we have Bitcoin, uh, Not, we have Agbit, we have Amoni, uh, we have Jordulus, we have Yori, and several other uh, desktop wallets. Now the second type of wallet are uh, they are mobile wallets. They are they are wallets which um, you can easily install on your on your mobile device. Either you are using Android or for iPhone users. So it allows payment from anywhere using your mobile phone. And a mobile wallet allows making payments in physical stores by using NFC tap to pay technology and also it is uh, available for, like I said, it's available for Android, iOS, BlackBerry, Windows, phone, and several others like that. So, and there are lots of examples of mobile wallets. We have Airbit, we have Coinspace, we have Green Address, we have a uh, blockchain, we have Trust Wallet, and several others. Now, the third type of wallet, uh, they are web wallets. Web wallets allows using um, bitcoins from anywhere on your mob on your browser so for, for instance if you are uh, you want to make any transaction uh, with your wallet on your on your, on your Chrome browser on your Cheeto browser so you need you need a web wallet and there are different examples of web wallets we have metamask we have phantom we have bitgo coin airport and several others and the last type of wallet are uh, they are the hardware wallets so hardware wallets, uh, they are they are they, they are private keys that are stored on on devices, devices like USB, like flash, and several others. So those are the those are the four types of wallets we have. Now there are two categories of crypto wallets. We have custodian wallet and a non-custodian wallet. Now um, let's take let's explain uh, what custodian wallet means custodian wallets are they are wallets that tend to offer convenient solutions for those who are unfamiliar with te technicalities of self custody so a uh, custodian wallet uh, these are wallets that actually enables you to to uh, to they, they provide like a quick and easy method easy solution uh for for storing your your crypto assets so you don't actually need to to know the technical aspect of, of crypto wallets 
all you have to do is go to the platform create an account and sign up uh some of some might require that you uh you verify your information by submitting your 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 id card and picture and when once they you they, they verify your kyc uh then you are good to go so you have examples of custodian wallet you have coinbase you have binance we have bitmes we have bitgo we have kucoin and several others so but the pros the, the advantages of using a custodian wallet is that number one uh the, the custodian wallet will be in charge of uh keeping your your private skills for security and accessibility so on blockchain we have public key and we have private key so public keys are the they are they are public address they are the address which you are, you are going to send to to your friend to request for a crypto wallet or if someone wants to send uh ethereum bitcoin solana to you i want to share them your your public wallet address but your private keys are they they are the one that they are the keys that enables you to to sign that helps you to sign transactions so it has to be private but uh for for for, for someone that is using a custodian wallet you don't actually need to have access to the private keys because the, the platforms like Binance will be in charge uh, of, of securing and storing your private keys for you. So you don't need to know the technicality aspect of, of, of your private key. All you need is your public address and then they are going to create the wallet for you. So, and the second advantage is that it has less risk of losing funds. In case of probably you might forget your password, all you have to do is to forget password probably you for your coinbase account you can, you can forget your password and you can recover your account back including your phones and then private keys are stored like i said are stored by the platform but the the the, uh, the major disadvantages the cons of using a custodian wallet is that uh most of the time you might your account might have limits probably you've not done your kyc or they might uh for for one reason or the other the the platform might decide to to froze your account so that's one of the the problem uh the or using a custodial wallet and some of the time the platform might have network congestion issues so which might be a uh, delay or have a negative impact in your transaction and most accounts normally target custodial wallets like binance like coinbase account like kucoin account accounts normally target custodial wallets so those are the pros and cons for the custodian wallet now for the non-custodian wallet which is the second category of wallets non-custodian wallet they are wallet that allows full control and ownership of your crypto assets so uh you you are in charge of your crypto assets your your cryptocurrency your nfts and several others and there are examples of non-custodian wallets we have metamask we have trust wallet we have phantom wallet we have a uh, blockchain uh exodus wallet and several others so let's talk about the pros and the cons of using a non-custodian wallet for non-custodian wallet um you have control and ownership to your to your assets because when you create a non-custodian wallet you will give you a private key and seed phrase and this private key and seed phrase uh gives you full uh ownership of your of your of your account so it's actually not controlled by third party or by by any platform and a non personal wallet can be used either on uh as a web base can be used on mobile like web base uh non personal wallet and metamask and phantom wallet like this and um you can see so you just install it and then this phantom wallet also so you can also install it on mobile device and no custodial wallets also are available for hardware in the form of USB drive. So, and for no custodial wallet, doesn't require uh, KYC verification in terms of you uh, submitting your information. No, doesn't require that. All you have to do is uh, copy your seed phrase and your private key, and you are good to go. But let's talk about the cons. The major cons, which is the major disadvantage of using a no custodial wallet to store your crypto assets is that it has higher chance you have higher chance of losing your entire crypto assets if for instance you lose your uh you lose or you forget uh your private key or your secrets for one reason or the other 
as long as you don't uh you lose your private key and your c phrase it is quite impossible to recover uh your your crypto assets so those are that's the major cons we are regarding a non-custodian wallet so just come down boils down to uh how you want to secure your crypto assets uh depending on which uh which one feels convenient for you some some if i just getting started some 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 people normally recommend going for a custodian wallet uh take for instance for amateurs and some for approved professionals uh they normally recommend going for non custodian wallet but for me i think uh checking both the custodian wallet and non custodian wallet is quite good uh and you can actually test and see which one works for you so uh choosing between a custodian wallet and non custodian wallet is very very crucial so when it comes to preserving your crypto assets so these are the major uh differences the pros and the cons and the types of crypto assets which you can actually go for so uh let me know if you have any question in the comment section i will try as much as possible to respond to you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i publish new video have a nice day